Well guys, before I give the new chisel a try, I thought I'd just bring you up to date with the two pressure pots that I've got. This is the one that I was building and it's completed now. I have given it a try and the seal that I manufactured seems to work well but I've got a slight leak on um, and I've traced it down to uh, a slight pinhole in one of my welds on the collar that I've uh, welded on so I think uh, I think that's the culprit there yeah the, the seal itself seems to work okay I believe you bring these up to about 40 psi and I've had it up to 40 and, um, it doesn't quite maintain the pressure but I think that wants to have a bit of filler or a touch more weld on and I think that one's sorted then And this pressure pot's one I bought probably a couple of months ago now. Uh, it's a Atlas Copco, so it's a, a cracking make. Uh, big fan of Atlas, Atlas Copco stuff. Um, give it a good clean out. Um, I have tried this, and um, this uh, maintains the pressure at 40 psi on the lid. I've taken all the accessories off that I don't really need. Lots and bits and pieces of outlets that uh, I don't really need to uh, do the job that I'm using it for. Um, my only concern with this is I've no idea what age it is. It's probably at least 40 years old. There may be a, a date on that nameplate at the bottom. I've not had a look at it yet. Um, I've taken the seal off. I've taken the clamp that holds the seal off and uh, give everything a good clean and take the seal out and um, the rubber seals uh, seems to be getting a bit on the hard side now which is what happens with the rubber as it gets older uh, but as I say I have used it and it, it does maintain the pressure so I don't know if you guys know any way of softening that rubber um, if you do let me let me know in the comments please I don't need a replacement rubber still available for these. It might be uh, might be a bit obsolete uh, technology these days. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. But as I say, I have uh, I have used it, and it's it's maintained the pressure. So for the time being, I'm okay with those. Well, first impression guys, I think it'll take a bit of getting used to. Uh, I'm not sure. Seems to have a sharp edge on it. It's, it's a very dry, hard piece of timber I'm trying it on, so it's possibly they're not, not the best sample I could use, but uh, it's the sort of thing I've got lying around at the moment. But uh, it certainly leaves a smooth finish on it. Yeah. Perfectly smooth finish, but as I say, it's a it's a really hard piece of uh, timber. This I'm not sure what it was. I think it uh, I think I got it, it was one on, on one of the, uh, the roughing gouges that I picked up, and I'd swapped the handle on it. But uh, 
I shall uh, persevere with it and give it a bit more practice. Possibly a bit of a learning curve needed. Well, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. I hope you found that of some, that of some interest. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.